Welcome to clickmyproject.com The project title is Efficient Audit Service Outsourcing for Data Integrity in Clouds. Let's see the abstract. In this project, the system addresses the construction of an interactive PDP protocol to prevent the prevalence of prover and the leakage of verified data. The system provides an efficient and secure cryptographic integrity audit scheme for public auditability. This scheme retains the soundness property and zero knowledge property of proof in system. The system proposes an efficient approach based on the probabilistic queries and periodic version for improving the performance. In existing system, the system used traditional cryptographic techniques for data integrity and availability. These techniques were based on the hash function and signature schemes, but it cannot work on the outsourced data with a local copy of data. In addition, it is not practically solution for data validation by downloading them due to the expensive transaction especially for large size files the disadvantage is the probability of cloud data is subjected to district due to the survival of hardware and software collapse and human mistakes data is not in a encrypted format group ring key generation not used in the existing purpose it behaves unfaithfully toward the cloud server it cannot work on the outsourced data with a local copy of our proposed system the system proposes an architecture of audit service outsourcing sourcing for verifying the integrity of outsourced storage in clouds this architecture based on the cryptographic verification protocol does not need to store trust in a storage service provider this proposed method is focused on the efficient audit service for outsourced data in clouds as well as optimizing for high high performance in audit its main advantage is this scheme improves the efficiency of verification it has a high performance trusted computing attempts another potential alternative access to achieve the design aspiring of other mechanism there is sufficient enough to succeed for readers to approach the design of this mechanism let's see the data flow diagram of this project in this the first category occurs to owner this original user creates and shares the data with other users in the group through the cloud both the original user and group users are able to access download and modify shared data shared data is further divided into number of blocks a user can modify a block in shared data by performing in and insert delete or update operation on the block data is divided into many small blocks where each block is independently signed by the owner and the random combinations of all the blocks instead of whole data is retrieved during integrity checking the original user is the original owner of the data third party public auditor a public verifier cloud to be used data user who would like to utilize the owner data via the cloud or a third party auditor who can provide export integrity checking services Cloud providers are not the real owners of the data, and they are not authorized to edit, view, or delete the data. Many systems were introduced to prove the ownership of the data, such as or to verify that the data was not tampered with or deleted by proving it in this integrity. The user easily uploads the encrypted data to the cloud. The ring key for each file uploaded by the user is generated automatically. After that, the user knows this number ring key for the data access to others by data outsourcing. Users can be relieved from the burden of local data storage and maintenance. The benefits of their own that to be exceed various motivations for cloud service provider to behave unfaithfully towards the cloud service regarding the status of this outsourced data. Encrypt and decrypt public private encryption schemes or schemes that use two different keys for data encryption and decryption. The user first enters a private key that should be kept secret and the public key which is released to the user. Any key that was decrypted by the public key only can be decrypted by the private key and vice versa. Decrypt the file in association with the public key PK and the user's private key SK and generates a original message M. If and only if the set of attributes S that is associated with the private key SK satisfies the access policy SK that was associated. Let's see the project. Open the cloud and client project. Now, start cloud button. It will show us the cloud users. Click listen to see to accept the file request from the user. Now, client has to select a file. It will automatically generate a group key for the files. Copy the group key and enter here. Now, click listen for download button. 
to receive the request for the key cloud server has to click the file request button client and server has been successfully connected now cloud is matching the group keys for the particular folder click download now button here select file splitter file button user has to select a receive path and start the client to get the files from the user here choose a file to send to the user I am choosing a image file to send to the user the file has been successfully transferred now click details button to know the details from the cloud to the user click info button to know the cloud status now open the file monitoring source code click monitor button now choose a cloud storage files this monitoring will do where there is action performing for renaming the files or insider or deleted the files to detect it now click auditing button to know the upload audit click this one to know the download audit click this one it will show the audit list now click cloud audit button how many files are de deleted it will shown here the rename files will be shown here the total number of upload files that is 1 and the denied files 10 and the viewed denied files this one it will display in here the total number of download files here and the modified file of the cloud and the modified files will be displayed here from this the project gets over thank you